What up world, this is King Cold, and I'm hanging out today on Moltres. So, I sent a message to the GM's backslash petition. I was like, hey, come and turn me into a hand or something, so this video is extra lit. And by golly, they came and turned me into an undead frog. <laughs> so, we are running around and killing little basic mobs around the giant spawn in Wrath Mountains. Um, that way, turn that down, sorry. Um, that way we're able to, um, heal ourselves with this blood point. And I'm hoping that, um, the, the blood point procs us a lot, but so far it's just been okay. Um, I killed the little mobs to get the, the hit points back up in between giants. <sighs> it's been okay. Just been okay. I spent, uh... I spent 3k on the dagger, on the, on the blood point, uh, which is actually a thousand platinum over market. Watch this. I bet that kills some of y'all, but I don't need that extra weight on me while I'm running around. Good. The necro is up here killing this brogue. Brogue Bloodbeard. A huge undercon. He's annoying as hell. Hey, what's up, Ranger? That dude's super cool. Where, what's your name? I'm, I'm going to give you some props. Fides, you're awesome. He gives me a so randomly for no reason. And I appreciate him. Because sometimes a fat ogre is heavy and needs to run all the way back to his little swamp home to be able to bank. But I'm saving up to get me another blood point. Because I think I'm going to run both of those in between mobs. Um, I've got me a chest plate of vindication. I, I prefer to use it over fun guys and people come at me all the time, but man, the AC difference and the, um, the SV saves is, is just ridiculous on them. And it saves you a bunch of time and effort when you're in mist more in your 30s and you're not getting nuked for 400 damage out of nowhere uh being able to resist that and run to the zone lines as a warrior is everything not only that but um when mobs try to flash of light you um or they try to fear you or they try to root you um, all of that is pretty self-explanatory of why the SVs is important. But I built my, my warrior more for the, the AC. Uh, more than anything. He's, he's pretty stout. He could be better, but couldn't we all? Look at this Necro over there being a hero. He's got all of the giants. He's killing all of them. Let me tell you something, though. I come out here with my level 60 Shaman, and I'll root them and just dot them to death, right? But, dude, you can pull too many of those at once, and they'll resist your mobs, and you will sit there and you'll die, and you will feel ugly about yourself. All of the raid gear in the world won't save you from getting slapped around on this game. There's no mercy involved. But um, I just run around and kill these little placeholder mobs in between the few giants that I, I catch as a warrior. Which, to be honest, I'm not in a hurry to level. I'm not in a hurry to have a million plat. I don't think I've ever had even a hundred thousand plat on this game at one time. I don't think I have. I think the most I ever had was like 86k once. Um, and that was mostly from, uh, looting items. It wasn't even from actually scooping up platinum. So, it's a long grind, man. It really is. Um, Monday, I will be doing Hot with the Second Sons. That is my guild, and I love them. Um, as you can see, they're a great guild. Like, uh, I had a fallout with another guild on the server, which has been patched up. I'm cool with, with that guild now. Um, but I had a fallout with them for a little bit, and Second Sons hit me up and were like, Hey, if you want to join us, you can. And man, I've been raiding with them ever since. It's been great. They've actually taught me a whole lot of... Um, just, just giving me pointers on the mechanics of the game. Stuff that I, I should have realized but didn't. 
Um, I, I started a bard to um, help f uh, kite things in fear. And I never thought in a million years that I would be like a guy to play a bard. I don't know why, but the, the mechanics of a bard and the songs have always been really confusing to me. So I've always uh, neglected the idea of having a bard. But I've got a little baby bard that I'm, I'm leveling up to, to just be more helpful for the guild in general. Um, hot every uh, Monday will belong to Fat Mess um, until he gets his chest piece. Um, which, that's the only piece of the wolf armor that he needs. So I'll get that soon. And, um, hopefully anyways. Oh. Another reason why SVs are so helpful. Killing those basilisks, they cast this stupid ass stone skin spell that um, will stun you. And oh my god, if you don't have enough MR to resist that, it will annoy the ever living shit out of you. Like, it's, it's painfully annoying. Hey, grats, man. I love it when my guildies ding. You know, he'll, he's 37 now, but Brogue is the type of dude that will literally be, like, level 50 in a week. He will be killing um, dragons with us in two weeks. I promise it. He's just really dedicated to his character. At least that's what I've noticed about him. That is my perception as a nerd. Is that he is, he is a, a, a top-ranked nerd as well. <laughs> He's on here as often as I'm on here, if that tells you anything. Um, oh, let's see what this guy dropped. Maybe there's something that somebody needs. No. It's the pearl earring and a toast that they left. And bro, I'll take that platinum and a half with me. Oh, let me see if that's a chunk of meat. If it is, I'll just eat it. I'll do. Boom. You can't save enough money on food when you're on a a, a, a warrior uh, especially a ogre warrior these month these fat 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 men <laughs> they eat so much uh, my trolls really bad about it too I'm like how are you already out of food I'll buy 200 food and water at a time just stacks and stacks and stacks I'll just fill up bags and then I'll go on a raid, and man, I'll go through a whole bag of food somehow. And it just does not make sense, because that's supposed to be regulated. Um, where all the food um, uses the same amount of absorption. But, um, I don't know, I'm still skeptical about it. So yeah, man, I'm eating this this thing. This isn't even almost a problem. My piercing is at 204, so it's not really um, causing any problems there. To fitness is probably what he thought I meant. I, I didn't. Oh, I should have a fat mess with two A's in it. That's awesome. <laughs> I should definitely do that. Oh, yeah, dude. I ate him alive. Everything proxed at least once, which is cool, I guess. I hate getting through a whole giant fight, and I'm, like, almost dead. I'm like 5% life. 
And I don't have anything procs the entire fight. I've, I've got to get my stuff together. If I get some more dex gear, yeah, my dex is... <laughs> Dude, that's pathetic. I have so much of this shit that's just killing it. I, dude, I've got to switch this stuff out. That's not too bad. I can live with negative charisma. Who gives a shit about it? But dude, my dex has got to get up there in the world. I gotta replace this too. I just had it on my, uh, my shaman after I switched out his belt with the, um, plane of hate shaman troll belt that's so awesome i guess it's not a shaman troll belt um predominantly it's just a troll belt but i definitely outbid somebody to get it i threw i don't remember uh, maybe a hundred dkp at it to make sure that i secured it and i mean it pissed off the other dude but somebody in my guild at the time, I wasn't with TSS because we don't do um, DKP at all. But um, somebody in the other guild was like, bro, do not let this clown outbid you. So I didn't let the clown outbid me. I made sure that I secured my item for my class. And um, that guild was actually a really cool guild. We had a misunderstanding about a drop and that was it buddy um that was all she wrote on that all things considered we've squashed our differences though because dude life is too short to be angry at people on a 20 year old elf simulator like what, what are you what are you gonna do how mad are you gonna stay bro look i'm full look at that can't possibly eat anymore with my ogre's fat ass all right look at that dude i like the hopping mechanic so much like i i just like that um look at this so sweet dude and dude when you cast spells and he does that backflip so money i also am uh the guy that collects all the bone chips for people i literally have i don't know five bags full of bone chips in my bank on, on my warrior and um, it's not even about um, you know just stockpiling them to do it it's stockpiling them because you can use them for that cleric quest and um, Kaladim you know the dwarf city I'm, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, oh fucking well. It'll be okay. No one died. I hate it when people are like, Oh, Leviosa! Not Leviosa! You know, good Jesus. Let me live my life. Listen to my voice. Does it sound like I was taught how to speak correctly? I got a speech impediment that's out of this world, bro. It'll cut glass. <laughs> so I'm going to run up here. Kill this hill giant. I'm going to try to sneak up on him. Try to be a real man. Do, 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 do. Bam. So this OT hammer that he's talking about is a really cool hammer. But it's really expensive. I looked into getting one to be able to slow mobs before I engage them. And, um, no. <laughs> it's, it's way out of the range that I'm willing to spend on my warrior that I'm going to get to level 52 and then park. He is literally not going to go over 52 and a half. Um, because he's going to get parked for dragon raids. I'm going to park him at Vox. That is going to be his specialty. It's going to be killing um, the ice dragon. It's going to be a good time. She hits hard as shit if I remember. I remember we killed her on Valenzek in like 2003 or four or something like that. Back when it was still really popping. Lots of people. And man, we went in there and we killed her as a, as a team. And it was great, dude. The whole server got together and just acted decent for a couple minutes. We got her killed. But um, I remember I ate a death and it was ugly as hell. I uh, was running, and <laughs> I was running, 
to get away because I grabbed aggro. And um, I was almost to the zone line I ran so far. And for some reason, I ducked. To, or I went to duck um, to get underneath one of the uh, rock caverns in there. And uh, I accidentally hit sit. And bro, she summoned me and just shit on my world. I got hit so fucking hard. And um, it was a rough recovery um, during the fight. But after the fight was over, it was cake. You could literally walk through damn near that whole zone. Because we cleared from the front all the way back. It was fun, man. Uh, and, and dude, having the nostalgia of moments like that. And being able to relive them while you're running around randomly killing stuff. It, it's, it's great to have. This is my second second warrior that I'm actually taking seriously, I guess. Um, I always start a warrior on a new server for some reason. I have that weird tick about me where um, I just start out with a warrior and kind of feel things out and then go from there. Um, and originally, I think uh, my main was going to be a druid because I got a 55 druid that I love doing stuff on. But once my my shaman got to the point where he could really start to hold his own after level 24 or something, oh, d dude, it was over with. I, I, I played my shaman way more than I play any of my other characters. No doubt. No doubt at all. Look at this. Let's see what we can do on this guy. We're lo a little low. Our odds are... Not forever in our favor, but let's get let's get rowdy for a second. Let's see if we can drop this giant with no issues. Just because it cons green doesn't mean anything either. Dude, these things can start slapping you out of nowhere. Like a GM hops on them and just starts uh, controlling them or something. It's ridiculous how hard they start hitting out of nowhere. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. All of the damage. Ain't getting no proxes out of the blood point. Oh, just when I started talking shit. It's okay. Once I get under... Oh, no. It's not okay. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Not good, and it's dark as hell. So what do you do when you got two mean ass giants on you and you think you're gonna die? Well, you see what I'm doing, I'm hopping. And why am I hopping? So it's burning my stamina down, be it. What it's doing is it's making it so I'm a couple steps in front of them. And because I know my location, um, there is a, um, a lizard camp up here so worst case scenario I die at the lizard camp and then I know where I'm at bitch I'm gonna try to fandangle these guys into the trees here and um, that's all my fault too one I pulled him when I was way way low low life which shows what kind of a noob I can be am I heavy Oh, a little bit. Let's get rid of some of this shit. Dump some weight. Throw it overboard! Oh, you got it. Oh, dude, it's that... <laughs> Ow! It's my cut close, baby. I might die. That sucks. It happens, though. It's not something I'm gonna freak out about. I have my zen about me when I die. I understand that is part of the game now. But I'm going to try not to die. I'm going to try to be pro as hell. If I was pro as hell, I would have pulled that to a corner uh, and fought it responsibly. But I thought, hey, this necro is killing everything. So I'll probably be safe and not have to worry about dying. Ugh. That was not the case. I'm totally out of stamina. 
but I'm hopping along, singing my song, trying to get myself to the zone line. I have no haste, or no, um, so. Whew, these are fast today. They normally aren't all up on me like this. It's dark as hell, too. This is super fucking dumb. Whew, you got this. Oh, you got this. You can see the zone line. It is in front of you. It's like when you've had uh, too much to drink. And you're like, man, I just need to get to that bed. <laughs> All I gotta do is get to that bed. And what you're trying to do is not end up on the floor. <laughs> it's literally what's happening right now. Uh, you got this. You're almost there, bro. Oh, in the final stretch. Get there. Get there, bro. Hey, dude, those hops are everything. Being able to jump as you go is everything. I would have absolutely... Dude, I might still die. <laughs> That's rough. I'm probably going to get there. Uh, I think I'm there. Oh, say a word, son. Ugh, it's rough. It's like a walk of shame, in a way. But dying and being naked in Ogok is also a, a fantastic walk of shame that I don't want to experience either. Ugh. It's like on um, Trailer Park Boys when Rick's dad's like, um, that's the, there she goes. And Bubbles is like bitching about it. Like, that's not how she goes. Or I don't remember it. It's something like that. But, anyways, that's the way the cookie crumbled on that day. Um, not a bad run. Not a fantastic run. And, um, but as you can see, the blood point actually does prox. Just not as much as I need it to, to um, sustain my character for absolutely no um, downtime at all, you know? Anywho, thank you guys for checking out my video. Subscribe, like it, comment below, and um, I'll see you guys on Monday for hot.